everybody, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the Pyraminx Crystal Cube or the Chrysanthemum Cube. So there's two names for it, and um, yeah, so it's um, it's it's kind of like a Mega Minx, but not really. So I like, it's it's pretty much it's it's almost the same as a Mega Minx, except it's a little different. So um, yeah, so how it turns is. So, like, you look at a face, and then you can turn that face, like that, so it turns like that, so let's say I wanted to turn that face, and that face, and then that face, and so on. So, that's how it turns, so let me scramble this up, and I will be right back. Okay, and I am back. So, um, I have scrambled it, and, um, sorry, I was just playing with it. <coughs> okay. So, um, so the first thing you need to do, well, the, the first thing you need to know in how to solve this is you need to know how to, like, solve a, um, a Megamix. So, you need to know how to solve a Megamix and a Pyramix. Well, I mean, you don't really need to know it because I will show you, but it's, okay, so it's, it's good if you know how to solve a Megamix and a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. And, and, I mean, solving, actually, solving the pyramids, you don't need to really, you don't really need to learn it. So, um, yeah, okay. So, what the, there's two steps in this, and, um, well, the first step is, takes, it's, it has multiple algorithms in it. The second step is just, it's just one algorithm, but you need to do it so many times. So, um, yeah, so the second step is actually a bit easier than the first one. So, the first step is, um, doing all the corners. The second step is the edge pieces. As you can see, there's only two types of pieces in this cube, edge and corner. So, um, if you look now, it's only edge pieces, and, but here, and, okay. It's, so, these are corner pieces, these five here, these big five, um, Sorry, I'm getting confused with the colors. And these five in here are the edge pieces. So edge pieces have two faces, corner pieces have three. So um, so first, uh, you have to get all of the white um, corner pieces. So And we, we don't care about the edge pieces right now, we'll do that at the end. That's the second step. The first step is the corners. So um, pick any corner that has white on it and then move, and then that's the white face now. So, and then you have to just, I mean, kind of just mess around with the cube until, this is like, there's no real algorithm to it, but try to get them so that, like, all the colors are matched up. I mean, I can't really teach you anything in this, so I'm just gonna do it, I guess. Um, so, that goes there, that one. Uh, that one needs to come over here. Okay. And then now this last one needs to... Oh, wait. Okay. Like that. Okay, so now that's all five. So that was pretty similar to a um, Pyramix. So that shouldn't be too hard. Um, after that... <coughs> The next thing is to get these corners, so if you flip that to the bottom, next thing is to get these corners, so these two, these two, or, and these two, like, so, <coughs> those five corners, and, um, that's actually, <coughs> <coughs> so sorry, I have a bit of a, um, cough, so, okay, sorry, um, uh, my mum just got a call, so, yeah, okay, um, so, so, yeah, this is actually also quite easy. So that corner piece, so you just have to match the corner pieces. Um, it's, it's similar to putting it in, as in up here, but you just put it in down there. So, I mean, this should all be, like, very easy. Um, you wouldn't really need to, so you wouldn't need to, like, take, it wouldn't be that hard. So, sorry, I just had to, um, cough off camera. So, um, <coughs> okay, now, um, yeah.
yeah, so it's, this is all, like, kind of mostly intuitive, so I might, as, I might just skip this part, so I've got that corner. I'm just going to do all the others, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so one trick I found is if you have a corner piece in the correct spot, but it just needs to be flipped, put the white side on top. So turn that corner piece to the bottom le to the left side of the bottom layer, and then turn the bottom layer like that, and then turn this face back right, and then like keep doing it because it turns it once. Because now the blue is on top right now, but then if you go over here, now the green is on top. So it changes the rotation of it. So you can just do that, and it'll like change the rotation. So that's just a trick I found um, completely by myself. Just just right now so right there so that needs to be turned that way so I mean I guess like that or you could just see what color needs to be put on the top so uh, purple and red oh wait oh wait that's not the right piece this is the right one. so purple and red so that one needs to be put on the top so I can turn it like that put that color on the top and then turn it back up to the top. And then the same with this one. So I'll keep doing these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just did all of those in there using the trick I just got. And um, so the next thing you need to do, so as in this one, which, oh, that, wow, that's lucky. I just got that there. So you need to get this top one in each face. So that green one, that yellow one, that dark blue red so this is very similar to inserting those pieces in it's like the same thing except you just use the insert it from the bottom layer for example this red piece so this red piece needs to be inserted there you can just insert it using normal three by three um algorithms so this yellow one goes in like that so as you can see this cube is really just like really intuitive so um yeah so just it's there's not really a lot of algorithms except one algorithm in the second part so that's that one done um purple's done red's done dark blue dark blue dark blue's here so yeah i mean the first part is just it's 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 okay that just broke okay i fixed it um it's whoa. Okay, I messed up. Okay, um, it's kind of it's not. I mean, I don't really want to say easy because for some of you it might be hard, but it it's just different. Like the things you have to do are different, but like if you know how to solve a three by three and the pyraminx, then not the pyraminx, the mega minx, then it will be pretty easy for you. So, yeah, now that all of those are done, um, now we can move on to the final five corners, and then after that we can move on to the second step of the, of solving it. <coughs> so, these five, um, the way we do them is, okay, so I am back, and, sorry, I just had to, um, do something. So, so now, um, basically what we have to do is we have to, uh, orient these corners. So, sorry, not orient them. Well, you have to just place them in the correct spots. So I see that right now this one's in the correct spot. Um, and this one's in the correct spot because this pink and green, pink and green, that pink and orange is actually, if we just, Oh no, no. So basically, um, instead of this, what you can do is you can just move the top layer around until you have two next to each other that are matching. So you just need two next to each other that are matching, but if you don't have two next to each other that are matching, then just go with one. I'm just going to go with this one because it's already oriented. So, I mean, like, they don't have to be black facing, I mean, grey facing up. They just have to be, like, um in the with the correct colors so um i've got this one and now i'm going to show you an algorithm to um rotate these three or uh, so right i'm going to show you an algorithm to write so to move this this one there that one there and that piece there 
So um, our goal is to get two next to each other. So once we have two next to each other, then we can do the final three, and then we can solve the entire... And then we can, like, rotate them around to the correct spots. So first of all, we need to get them all in the right spot. So this one's already in the right spot, so we just need to get this one uh, this one. So we need to keep doing things until that one's in the right... Uh, we need to keep doing this algorithm until right, that one's in the right spot. Now... So look at the one that needs to go there. It's a pink and orange one. Um, so if you look around for that piece, not that, it's over here. So that so if we do the algorithm one time, then that piece will go over there, which is good. So we just get it on the first try. Um, if it's if that piece is over here, then you would need to do the algorithm once to get it over here, and then another time to get it over here. If the piece that was meant to go in here was here, then in that case, what you would do is you would turn this around. So, so to swap the to turn these two around, to um to turn these three. So move then if you move that piece down here, and then come back over here this way, and then turn it there, and then there. So um yeah, you just need to kind of just do some problem solving and figure out how it needs to get there. So I just need to do one, do the algorithm once, and then it'll it'll come over here. So um. The algorithm is, so this is uh, the left side, that is the right side, that's the top side. Okay, so you need to do the left side up, um, the top side clockwise, the right side up, the top side anti-clockwise, um, the left side down. Sorry, okay, that just broke. Um, um, just, okay, I will try to fix this i mean i'm pretty sure it's kind of easy to fix this okay come on get in there yes okay so back to the formula uh right side down and then top side i forgot because i forgot my position oh and then top side clockwise uh, but yeah, top side clockwise, sorry, I was here, top side clockwise, right side, sorry, top side, yeah, and then right side down, and then top side anti-clockwise. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, now that it's fixed, um, okay, so yeah, now these two are in their correct spots, and sorry about that. This piece breaking in in the middle. Sorry about that. So now these two are in the correct spots, and I can just rotate these three until they're in the right spot. So what piece needs to go here? The pink and green. The pink and green's over here. So I need to do the algorithm twice to get it over here and then here, and then all the pieces will be solved. So you just need to do that same algorithm um, with any with a corner piece facing you, and then those three will be rotated. So right side up. Top side clockwise, left side up, top side anti-clockwise, right side, left side down, top side clockwise, right side down, top side anti-clockwise. And there you go. So now, oh, not yet. Okay, not yet. So we need to do it once more. So bam, 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 bam. Okay. Now they are all in their correct spots, and now we just have to rotate them around, and part one will be complete. <coughs> so, um, trust me, part two is really easy. So, um, so we just need to use, so if you know how to solve a 3x3 three three using the beginner method, or the Megaminx um, using the beginner method, then you should be able to do this. But if you don't, then I'll just tell you right now. So you hold the piece you want to turn, in this case that one, on the front right corner, like this. And that's going to be the right side, and that's going to be the downside. So right side, and the downside. Okay? So the algorithm is, so that needs to be there, and then the algorithm is, so the algorithm is um, right side down, bottom side down, right side up, bottom side up. And then you do that again. Right side down, down, up, up. Okay, once you've done that two times, you need to check if it's now solved. That will all be messed up, but don't worry. 
don't mess up anything else. So you need to do it twice and then check if that's done. If that is rotated properly, then move on to the next one. So the next one's over there. So turn the top layer until you get to that one. Okay, that one. Okay, and then keep doing the same algorithm. So right side down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Okay, once I've done that, I need to check. That's good. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which... Okay, if this breaks now, no, please, 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 do not break, don't break. Oh, come on, just come over here. This cube is really annoying. Okay, there, finally. So move on to the next one there, and then do down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Okay, and now that should be fixed, because then you can turn the top layer back. So now once all of them are fixed, turn the top layer back to where it was, and you should be done. Part one complete. <coughs> okay, so all the corners should be in their correct spots, and um, sorry if I rushed through that a bit, or if you didn't get understand a part of it, because um, you should already be able to know how to solve the... Mega Minx and um, the 3x3 three three if you like want to solve this easily. Easily. So, um, yeah, now we can move on to the next part, which is the edges. The edges are really, 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 really easy and simple. So, you just need one algorithm. <coughs> and you just use that algorithm in different ways. So the one algorithm is, so you have to hold it like this with the edge piece facing you. And I'm just going to show you the algorithm right now. Um, the algorithm is right side down. So um, with an edge facing you, that's the right side and that's the left side. So this edge is part of both turns. So that and that. So you just need to know this algorithm. Right side down, left side down, right side up, left side up. It's really easy. Down, down, up, up. Right side down, left side down, right side up, left side up. Now, what that does is it influences these three edge pieces. Nothing else, nothing, absolutely nothing else in the entire cube. So, that, when you do the algorithm once, um, whichever side you put down first, so you know how it's down, down, up, up, whichever side you put down, down first, then the edge piece that was there, let's say I put down the right side down first, then that edge piece will end up where it is there. So let's try it out. So that orange and pink. Okay, down, so start down with the right side. Down, down, up, up. See, so that orange and pink ended up there. So whatever side you're doing down, the edge piece on the top of that will come into the center. So that's one way you can remember it. And um, so same for the opposite side. So then on the opposite side, it's white and purple. Now if I do that algorithm, it'll come into the center. But if I do it with the left side down first, that, and then it will come into the center. So if the left side down, comes down first, then down, down, up. And so that came into this side here. Now, um, so now that's how you do that. So you can, you just have to remember down, down. You don't have to say which, which side goes down first. Because that's dependent on what you want to do. Um, so, so now let's talk about the other pieces. So if you go down on the right side first, that one goes into the center. Now this one, uh, where else can it go? It can go one of these two spots. But it has to go to the other spot, the blank spot, which hasn't been touched yet. So if that goes down there, that edge piece will go there. And then the remaining one has only one spot to go to, which is there. So they kind of go around in a circle. That one comes there, that one comes there, and that one comes there. Now if you go left down first, then that piece come in, comes into the center. So it goes down there, and that goes down there, and that goes up there. That's pretty much all you need to know to do it. So, I mean, if that if you want that edge piece to, um, uh, sorry, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, that's all you need to know to solve this, uh, so do the second part. So that edge needs to go, oh yeah, another thing is the orientation of these edge pieces. So when that one comes down, so that comes down like that, imagine it just coming down. 
So that white will be on the bottom. So it'll be whatever it's, it, it is on the first turn. So that when that edge piece comes down to the bottom, it'll be in that same orientation. White won't be, so it won't like flip around. It'll just come down. It won't like flip like that. It'll just come straight down. And same with this side. If, if you turn right down first, then it'll come like that. Now, the reason I'm explaining this in so much detail is because I'm going to skip half of this. I'm not going to show you everything. I'm just, I'm just going to explain in really big detail what this algorithm does, and then you can just use it to solve all the edges by yourself. So now, when, when, so if, let's say if you put right down first, then it'll come down like that, not backwards, okay? It'll come just straight down like that, okay, like that. Um, this one goes straight up like that. It doesn't turn, it just goes straight up like that. And this one, this one just goes straight across like that. It just goes straight across. So none of them, they don't flip, they don't like flip like that, they don't flip coming down. They just come straight down, that one goes straight there. So that green would end up there, and then that orange would end up there, and then this one comes straight across. So that white would end up there, that purple would end up there. So, yeah, the, so the, that goes down there, that goes across, and that goes up. Same with this side. This one, when, when if you do left side down first, then that one comes down there, that one goes up there like that, and that one just turns across. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. So, this one, um, if, let's say, I want, so first thing you do is the white side, so that one needs to go to there. Um, to do that, if I just use out the left down first algorithm, then, sorry, if I use the left down first algorithm, then that piece will end up there, which is not what I want. If I use the right down first algorithm, then that piece will end up over there, but it'll end up flipped, because the white will be there, and the purple will be there. We don't want that. So maybe let's put it across to, maybe let's put it down to that one. Let's see what the, the options are. Okay, and then, oh yeah, and then, then you can just move it across like that. So that would be that, 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 that. So now that's in the right spot. So you just need to remember all of that that I just told you, and then you can do every single thing in this. So that one, same thing, move it down into this corner. It's the same as the purple one. Move it down into this corner, and then move that across like that. Now, one thing you do need to be aware of is, oh, sorry. Okay, I messed that up. So one thing you do need to be aware of is if, which three pieces you're touching. So if you, <coughs> if you do this one, but then the, this one is already in the correct spot, then you'll mess it up. So you want to be careful about that. You just have to use problem solving and you'll get it done. So, I mean, you can, so now once you've done two that are next to each other, you have a choice. You can do this one in between, or you can just continue going around the white. I usually continue finishing the white and then come to these ones in the middle. But, I mean, I, I just want to try what this one is like for the first time. Um, so, I'm going to do that, and you can kind of... Okay, where is that? Oh, that's over here. So, what I can do is I can move that like that. So, purple. So, I'll just remember what purple is. So, purple is over there. So, I'll just move purple like that. And then I'll just move purple. Oh, and then. Oh, and then it has to come down here. Hmm. Okay, let, I'm just going to move it down here. See what happens. Um. Okay, there. And then I can. Need to come down like that. So maybe I can move this across. Um, I will be like uh, removing, taking this out of place, but I can put it back in again. Okay, so I'm gonna put that. That uh, sorry, I'm gonna put this across like that. And I know that piece messed up, but now I can put this one in, and then I can return that white piece back. So, yeah, it's just problem solving and doing all of them. So, I might just forward this bit. So, I'm just going to solve all of the white ones now. Because I don't really like doing those three. I'm going to solve all of the white ones and then I'll be back. Another thing I want to show you, sir, is... Um, so, let's say that one's over there and I need to get it in there. If I put that down there, so I'll remember where blue goes. If I put that down there 
and then down into there, it'll be flipped because blue will be on the bottom and we want white to be on the bottom. But um, if, so, and so now a solution to that is if I turn that face, so now that's over there, and now I can put it in without it being flipped. So if I just do that algorithm, really? Again? Like, really? Okay, so if I just do that algorithm to put it in, and then, and then move this back to where it was, back to where it was, then nothing changed. Nothing got messed up. Because um, the corners are the only thing that's important. We don't care about the edges. I mean, we do care about the edges, but we don't care about the edges that aren't solved. So, yeah, you can, like, turn it around as long as it doesn't touch any solved edges. So, um, yeah, I'll just turn. Once you've done all all of the all five white uh, edge pieces, then you can start working on these ones. So, these ones. I've already done that one. So, these ones. These ones just above the white. Above these corners. So, yeah. I'll do them all and then I'll be right back. Okay. So, I just did all of these ones. So, next we'll move on to these ones. So these. These ones to finish off all of these faces next to the white. So, these two at the top. And these ones will be much easier than um, these ones right here. These ones are, like, the hardest to do out of all of them. So if you had trouble with them, um, don't worry. Just just keep trying. You got this. Just keep trying. So, um, yeah, just now we'll be moving on to these two, which are a lot easier. I might show, like, two of them. Like, yeah. I might just show two of them because, like, <laughs> this thing... It's break. It's broken like five times now. Um, I mean, one of them was off camera, but like, I don't know how many times has it broken on camera. I think it's broken three times. Oh no, I flipped it. Damn it. Okay, I'm fixing the flip. Okay, finally, uh, one done. I just did that one. Okay, next, this one. Okay, I can turn it around and then put that in. Okay, and then turn that back. Okay, now these two are in. Okay, now these yellow ones. Okay, that's easy. One's there, and then into there. Okay, next this one. Um, this one's over here. So let me move that over there, and then there, and then there. Okay. Okay. I'm just doing this backwards because I can't be bothered to turn the cube. Ha! Ah, again? Are you kidding? I hate this. Okay. And then that. Alright, that's in. Next, the, the... Oh, this one's already done. Okay. Um, the screen one. <coughs> okay, wow, that's gonna take a long time. Are you kidding? That's so far away. Oh, here. I can do that. I can do that trick. Alrighty, next are uh, these purple. Okay, um, okay, you know what? I, just, I might just do these off camera. Finally, I did all of these faces, so now we can move on to the final layer faces. Um, Alright, um, so now you have to do these. So for these ones, there's a bit of a trick you can do. Um, <coughs> so these ones, what you can do is you look on the top layer for any edge piece that doesn't have grey in it. That one doesn't have grey in it. So those two. And then you have to place them opposite to where they need, it's opposite to these two colours that they're on. So blue and, um, what do I call that? Okay, I'm just going to call it blue and, like, light yellow. 
I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna call it blue and light yellow. So, um, so the, the animated place are opposite from where they need to go. So that's opposite from where they need to, these two colors are. And then you need to see which one's on the top. Whichever one's on the top, then you need to turn that color upwards. And then that spot's open, and then you can just put it in. And then close it back. Simple as that. And then you need to search for another one without any gray. So light yellow and green. Oh, it's actually opposite them. So green is on top, so turn the green side, turn the green side, so that the yellow side is up. Okay, and then put that in. Okay, and then turn that down. All right, next one. Oh, that um, orange and okay, again, it's already uh, opposite of where it needs to go. So orange. So oh, yeah, I need to turn that up to the top, and then put it in. And then turn that back down. Uh, next one without a gray. Oh, that one. Um, okay, now it's not opposite where it needs to go. So that is opposite where it needs to go. So I'm just going to put that in there. Okay, so now um, blue and uh, orange. Blue and orange are opposite. So blue there. So, <coughs> so I can just turn the blue side. Then next, put that in. Okay, back down. All right, um, I think that's all of them. Oh no, one more. Pink and green. Oh, pink and green's over there. So I need to put them opposite to where it needs to go. Uh, like, like that. That's over there. And then now green's on top, so I need to turn green. Put that in. Turn that back down. And bam! We've done all of them. So now it's just the top layer with uh, these grays um so for the final top layer what you need to do is okay so there's two kind of steps to this so the first step that you need to do is you need to make them all in their correct spot so that is yellow on pink um pink and yellow. so none of them are in their right spot so you just need to keep doing that algorithm until like until two of them opposite each other like that. Oh, oh, I just got it first try. Okay, I just um until two of them. So you can just keep doing it on random faces until two of them opposite each other are uh, in their correct spots. Like that one and that one. Yellow, yellow, and pink, pink. So and then you can turn the final three into their correct positions. Okay, and so now all of them are in their correct positions. Next, you will have a case where two of them need to, two of them next to each other need to be flipped. Now, you can either have a case um, like this, or you can have a case where these two need to be flipped and these two need to be flipped, or you can have a case where these two and these two need to be flipped. Um, so one's here, one's there. So, <coughs> oh, oh, oh no, sorry. Or you can have a case where these two need to be flipped, and in that case, you need to flip these two, and then you need to flip these two, and then these two. So you need, so I'm just going to be teaching you an algorithm to flip, flip two next to each other. Um, and then you can work the rest out on your own. I mean, like, just problem solve. You got to be good at problem solving. Okay. Um, so basically what you need to do is um, there is, this one's kind of, not, it's not really a long algorithm, but it's kind of a long algorithm. So it's, you need to have them facing towards you, the two there. And the corner facing towards you. So the right side is that. Left side is that. And then you need to do this algorithm. Left side up. Right side up. Left side down. Right side down. Turn it like that. Left side up. Right side up. Left side down. Right side down. Turn it like that. Um, right side up. Left side up. Right side down. Left side down. And turn it back, and then right side up, left side up, right side down, left side down. And if you noticed, I uh, so at, for the first two ones, I I put left side up first, and then for the last two ones, I put right side up first. So just in case you'd missed that. Okay, and that is how you solve it. You might need to do that more than once. And so that is pretty much it. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button, which is right down there as well as the subscribe button, which is right next to it. And goodbye, see you in my next video.